This is the Louette Magato Loom made in Holland. Only one owner and uh, it was purchased about three to four years ago and it is a beautiful 16 shaft and there's the shafts. Loom with Texolve, the Texolve petals and there they all are. This particular loom has the, the Dobby system that's computer controlled and we'll show you more about that later. Now down underneath here, this is the tension release button. You push down on this with your foot and it will loosen this. Okay. And this is the pedal. Now this has, um, this particular loom has an auto tensioning beam. I believe it's what it's called. Um, so that means beam. that it's constantly in tension. Let's show a side shot of that. Now, as I push down on this pedal here, the entire back end of the There's loom moves. will lift up and this will go forward. And it loosens a little bit when it goes forward, but when you lift your foot off, it takes it back to the same tension. So you have constant tension all the time. You never have to worry about, oh, well, if I push the pedal, is, is my tension going to get really loose and it'll be really tight. Um, it's in constant tension. And now over here, you see this ratcheting system? This is not only how you turn the cloth beam forward, but it's also how you adjust the tension. And if you want more tension on this beam, you just pull it back. And the further this comes back, the tighter it gets. Now, when you're warping the loom, you have this entire piece here and this bar here, which has a cloth the beam over beam. it, the mm -hmm. front beam with the cloth beam cover. We have can a cover, be, and this is yeah. uns can be unscrewed. This is removable. Um, mm -hmm. But this whole thing can lift out as well as this. So when you're warping, you can sit right in here and get right up close and personal. There's no bending over the cloth beam to get to your head, which is a really nice feature. I'm going to lift the loom just so you can see what happens when I push down on the pedals and the shafts raise up. Uh, voila! The entire back of the loom does go up. Now the shafts didn't go up this time because I don't have the Dobby system turned on. But I just wanted to show you that. And then it comes back down. So every time you push this, which will raise the shafts, the tension beam works. So keeps the threads in equilibrium so you have less less snapping of threads. Also the back because this is such a wonderful loom and because of the way it's designed um, when you weave, you can get your fabric pretty much. I've had yarn ends come like right up to here and still had a very, very wide shed. Um, so there is quite a bit of um, good shedness there. Um, but there is two and a half yards of white, um, white pearl cotton on this. Um, particular loom so it's a good starting project and it is tied up right now and it will be tied up so if you want to come look at it and try it out you can feel free to do that and now um, on the top here um, it's kind of like like a miniature rack thing but what you do is when you're going to warp it you'll thread all your threads through here and that kind of keeps them from getting tangled and stuff we have a CD that shows how to yeah. thread this, so you can watch it. That was yeah, very instructional for us also. Easier. And here's the mechanism for the computerized Dobby system. And Sarah will turn that on. She uses her computer, and we'll use the Weavit soft software, but there's also other softwares you can get for this particular. And that's included with the Loom, the Weavit, Weavit software is too. And we'll show you from the back, and then we'll come around and so you can see. Right, I'm gonna turn this on. little hook here is just to help lift up your um, your handle sometimes, so that's just a little extra accessory there. Right. There, so, it clicked now, it out. The little the dobbies will push out these, and then this bar, as you push down on the pedal, kind of comes down kind of like a guillotine and, then, and catches the two screws, which which lifts the shed. And you can see as well. And creates the, the shed. Yeah, the back of the loom is also there raised. There you go. And now let's and go now around the front. And now if you come around the front, because it has the system, and is it coming away? Um, because it has, 
because as a counterbalance system, you always get a perfect open shed every time. I remember on the first loom I had, which is a little like four jack, jack loom, jack loom, four shaft. Um, sometimes I'd get a shed that was like that wide, and then other times I'd get one real big. Mm -hmm. This one always opens a shed real big, even if you have thick yarn, even if you have this whole thing filled. I mean, it always lifts it every time to the top, and that's why I said. Um, you can weave almost every inch of this yarn because you'll continue to have an open shed even if you only have three feet of string back there. Yeah, there's not much waste. Yes. And it's also a production weaver's loom. It, it does come with a fly shuttle attachment that can be placed here on the, um, on the reed in the front of the leaf. So you could just pull a string and fling your shuttle back and forth. And we'll show you that in a minute. And then when I lift my foot up off the pedal, the next set will pop out. And so I push down. So. And that's basically how it works. Um, you're still doing all the work. The only thing that's different is that on this loom, the computer is telling it what shaft to lift. So, and um, since I did a couple shafts without weaving, I'm going to go back two shafts so you can put it in reverse if you want to and play with your pattern. But, um, so you put it in forward. And, yeah, I'm in the right spot. This lifts, and then I can throw this through here. Now I'll lift the next shaft. And voila. So, and you get um, pretty good edges on this because of the wonderful tensioning system. Now this is the pattern that I have um, warped up on it. Um, and I can show you if you want to see. I have done some place mats in this pattern, and I can show you what they look like. You'll have to when you transport it. You'll have to restring it, but they'll basically be all in the same order. So, you know, I'd hate to have for you to have to like figure out a new pattern. So I will give you the um, yeah, the we'll pattern for this. For you, so. so and um, it's weave it software. It's it's fairly easy to use. And it's, it comes with the loom. You will need a computer to run this loom, the computer is not included. This stand it will be included though. Um, it's it's just like a computer stand. It's just really nice because it keeps the um, the computer at eye level. So even if you don't have a laptop, you can just put your monitor on here and then you can just turn and see it. We want to show you what's included with the with the loom, um, with the Louette Magata loom. First of all, these are all the reeds that are included, and you can use any size yarn um, with the correct reed. There's a number 15, a number 10, a number 6, and an 8. And right now on the loom, that green one there, that reed is a number 12. And so depending on your, the size of yarn you use, you can use those reeds. Now, these are the lee sticks that you use in the back of the, the loom, and they're... And they're the correct length, all of these. And these are, oh, I want to tell you, these are 46 and a half inch uh, reeds, just so that you know. They're quite long. So, And then these are just some extra spacer sticks that we have that work really great. They actually came with the loom um, from Holland, and they were designed for this loom to be long enough. So if you wanted to uh, make something that was the entire width, like 46 inches, these will give you spaces. And this loom is also great, like for if you want to do a um, a double fold where you you could actually double the length, so you can make it 95 inches yeah. if you double wanted to weave. double weave. Now this is the fly shuttle attachment in this box. It's never even been out of the box. And what you do is you place each box on each end of the the reed there. And, and, and these boxes sit there, and then you pull the string, and it sends the shuttle back and forth. And here are the shuttles. We have actually two shuttles. There's a shuttle with one of the perns. It has a special kind of pern that sits in it that you wind in a special way, and we have all the instructions with those. But they're really a, a very heavy-duty um, shuttle. And they even have, let me roll, turn this over, there's special rollers on the back. And they ride right across where that other shuttle is sitting right there. They ride right across that to the other box that sits in the end. And they have a special tensioning system in them. So you don't even touch them. So it makes it really quick for a production weaver. And also you'll get perfect edges if you use this. 
because your throws will be even every time. It'll be very consistent. And here are other perns that come with it. You need special perns, and and they show. And we have the instructions here that show you how to wind, specifically how to wind these, so you have the best professional results. The wet magato comes with a bench, and okay. so it's this nice weaver's bench. And this bench was specifically designed and made for this specific loom, so it's just the right height. And it's and fully adjustable on the side, so you can adjust it what yeah. meets your needs on the sides. And it, it's it's a very comfortable bunch to sit at and to weave at. So, and um, overall, this loom has only been used for maybe four or five projects. Um, I've had it for three years, but I've had some health problems and have not been able to use it much. So, it's like practically brand new. Mm -hmm. um, it's barely even been used. Well, thank you very much for your time and viewing this video, and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.